Hi, today is Saturday, March 11th, it's the sixth day of the, se of the second week of Lent. You hear? Second and seventh, they are too close to each other. I'm gonna stop this. And this is a sweet speaks. Uh, did you hear about uh, how, uh, how the Turkish uh, Prime Minister, I think uh, is his title, uh, Mr. Erdogan, it's spelled Erdogan, but I think it's pronounced Erdogan. Uh, they are having some kind of referendum in Turkey. And there are lots of Turks living in, well, for instance, lots in Germany, some in the Netherlands. And uh, they are trying to go there to hold uh, rallies uh, to get uh, the Turks to vote. Uh, well, I guess Erdogan wants them to vote to give him more power. And uh, Germany and the Netherlands have, have, have been, haven't been very fond of this, so they have tried to stop this. In the Netherlands, uh, the, the Turkish uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs, uh, has, he is trying to go there, and they have they're trying, they've been trying to stop him from, from landing. And what are the Turks doing? They are calling Germany and the Netherlands Nazis. And uh, I mean, in one way, this is wonderful. Sorry, I need some. Oh, but I have my, my tea for my throat. In one way, this is wonderful. Not because I would agree with Mr. Erdogan, uh, at least not the way he means it, but uh, what he is doing now, I mean, apart from the Turkish internal policies that he is trying to promote by getting expatriate Turks to vote for his uh, for his propositions but apart from that he is now perhaps unwillingly perhaps even unknowingly but he is campaigning for Scherit Wilders he is campaigning for Marine Le Pen because even if they haven't been to France yet I don't know about that if someone knows please comment in the comment field but I, I guess the French are reading the news too and they are seeing this too, and I, I guess they get annoyed by this too. And, and he is campaigning for AfD, the, the Alternative für Deutschland, Alternative for Germany. I mean, this is what happens. Because uh, if I was German, or if I was Dutch, I would of course be furious about the get being called a Nazi. Because our countries, well, because Germany has one opinion and Turkey has another opinion on whether there should be Turkish uh, political rallies in Germany, and the same with the Netherlands. Uh, by the way, I saw somewhere that uh, this is actually not even allowed according to Turkish law, but yeah, you know, Erdogan is not really my guy. I don't like him, and uh, I don't think he cares about what, what's in the laws of any country, including his own. I mean, a little less than a year ago, we had this this uh, coup against Erdogan, if it was real and not uh, and not a staged one. I don't know. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, so I just say I don't know. But I wanted to, the coup to succeed, and globalists like Karl Bildt and uh, Torbjörn Jagland, the Norwegian one, who has been president of the European, uh, what's it called, the European Council. They shared for Erdogan. I mean, you don't. It doesn't get any clearer than, than this. Erdogan is really a bad guy. And uh, but anyway, and when he and and when he insults the Germans, when he insults the Dutch, well, a lot of them are going to are going to vote for for parties that I don't think uh, Mr. Erdogan or the Turks want them to vote for. And I guess the French would get a little angry too, because, you know, they probably understand that he would say the same thing about them. So, well, in one way, I suppose I should say thank you, Mr. Erdogan, you scumbag, for, uh, for making Europeans wake up and, uh, and voting for the anti-globalist parties. And I know one could debate Le Pen. They say that uh, she's too leftist in these things, and maybe she is. But you know, as I say, 
I don't trust anyone than her to take a hard stand against Islam, to take a hard stand to get France out of the European Union, and that's enough for me. So I would vote for her anyway if I, if I was a French citizen because of these two things. And then when that, that is said and done, when uh, France has left the EU and uh, when they have started the tougher policies to end Muslim migration, immigration, etc., then I might consider voting for someone else in the next presidential election. That would be a question on in the next, because the way I think about voting, a lot of people don't want to vote. Other people vote out of habit for the same party as they always did. Some people vote because they think some party is going to give them lots of lots of free stuff. That's not how I reason. I vote for the party or the candidate which A might harm me the least. I mean I don't know what they're gonna do, they're politicians after all. And B who takes the best or the the least unreasonable stand stands in the most important questions. And well, because of that I would vote for Chet Wilders, I would vote for Marine Le Pen, and as far as I know, I would vote for, for AFD in Germany. But anyway, that's what I have to say about this right now. I would like to thank the people who, who are supporting this channel through PayPal and through Patreon and through prayers. I appreciate this very much. And if you like this channel, please uh, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Please share my videos on social media, on Twitter and Facebook and whatever. Uh, if you got something to say, please comment. If you like my videos, please like. And uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. This is a sweet speaks. Have a nice day.